So we like to play a game right at the beginning of the show so that the Rage Nation gets to know you better. We're going to play 10 rounds with Mike EO. So we're going to go through 10 separate things, and it's kind of like a this or that or uh, which thing you like more. Okay. First thing that pops in your head, you say it, okay? All right. All right. Round one. Since you're from Texas, Dallas Cowboys or Houston Texans? Houston Texans. Like, you didn't even have to finish that. Like, okay. I don't know if it's like a feud thing, but it's I'm from Houston, so it's Houston Texans every time. Were you in Houston when the Oilers were there? No. Well, I mean, te- like technically alive, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's it's been a it's been a that's that's from a long time ago uh i've only been familiar with the texans because of my age but um i know the history of the oilers which is when uh they went over to what was it like tennessee or something yeah Nashville. yeah yeah so yeah them wearing our jerseys and us you know whooping their bus that felt good i know that yeah and you know what i went to go see the very last home game in the astrodome for the oilers before they moved Oh, nice. Yeah, no, I've never been to the Astrodome either, but that is cool, though. That is really cool. You guys are, you're in New Orleans, right, you said? Or near New Orleans? Lake Charles. Lake Charles. Okay, so you're, are you a Saints fan or no? Oh, most definitely. Okay, cool, cool. I like the Saints, too, so that's cool. Congratulate. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm more keen on football than a lot of people. Not. Like, I watch, you know, and obviously, like, this is the first year we've got the rookie quarterback, CJ Stroud, yes. and the Texans. So, like, he's killing it now. So, like, everybody who is a Texans fan is getting so hype about it. And then we play the Baltimore Ravens tomorrow, which I'm, like, kind of nervous about. But I'm going to, like, cross my fingers and hope we got this one. They are, like, the number one seed in the AFC right now. So, that also makes me kind of nervous. But – you know, we'll see. How about Screw the Lamar epic, Jackson? <laughs> I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty, but how about the epic blunder of Carolina passing up on CJ Stroud? Yeah, no, a miracle for us is what that was. But it's just, I mean, it's crazy. The the Panthers have a terrible score this year, though. Like <laughs> somebody should get fired right. over that. Yeah, and I'm, 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 I don't dislike you know teams. I try not to because like, especially being from Houston, like if you don't like the Dallas Cowboys there's enough people here that will get mad at you for that so I try and keep my mouth shut but like anytime like Dak throws an interception I'm like yes like (laughs) low-key it's like between me and myself (laughs) all right so I was going to do something else but before we started the show you were telling me you're a baker yes yeah so round two Uh uh-huh snickerdoodle or chocolate chip I like the snickerdoodle. The kids prefer the chocolate chip because like I, like I said, I make, you know, pastries for all the kids in the neighborhood and stuff. So they always like the chocolate chips because it's just like whatever, but I'm a big snickerdoodle fan, especially when it's cold. I'll make hot chocolate. Yeah. That right there. That's a combination. All right. Round three, combat boots or high heels? Combat boots. I am five foot nine. I will fall in a pair of high heels. And I make the joke all the time. Like, I just, I'm not made for that. (laughs) I'm not made for that. But a good pair of boots will take me very far. Round four, winter or summer? Winter, winter, because I like the fashion. Uh, (laughs) Like, summer fashion is cool, but I'm just, like, a big fan of, like, coats and, like, different style jackets and stuff. So it's always going to be winter. And I'm from Texas. Like, we only get a little bit of winter, so why not cherish it? Yeah, and how'd the polar vortex treat you guys here recently? Better than the last time it froze. Uh, last oh, yeah, time it froze, nuts. yeah, we were without power for days. This time around, we had no issues, and it was it was all good. So, all right, round five: milkshake or malt? Mm, I'm lactose intolerant, so I'm wow. gonna say neither. <laughs> we interviewed oh, yeah. a band, we interviewed a band from New York earlier this month called Vajra and they were both the lead singer and the guitar player were both lactose intolerant as well. But I tell you what, if you, I know there's like, like some pills out there that you can take that I guess damper the effects of it. If you ever feel froggy one day, a malt will change your life. Malt over milkshake. Okay. Noted. (laughs) Like one day I'm just going to bite the bullet and try it. And I do that all the time. Like with certain cheeses, like obviously if it's an aged cheese, lactose intolerance, you can still have it. But like, yeah, I'm just going to bite the bullet one day and say, I'm going to try this mold. (laughs) Uh, Let's see. Round six, CD or vinyl? 
Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to say vinyl because I have mostly vinyls now, but like in my heart of hearts, I am a CD girl because that's like where I grew up. So like I was born in the nineties. So for me, it was like CDs were life. Like you had the, the visor on like in your parents' car yeah. with all the CDs lined up. Like, so CDs have a special place in my heart, but as of right now, like my vinyl collection is stacked. So I'm going to say vinyl. When I, when I was in college, um, I had just got the new JVC Chameleon deck, and that was one of those decks that hit itself, uh -huh. and somebody stole it like a week after I bought it, and but they left all my CDs alone, and I didn't even care about the deck. I was like, oh my God, they got my CDs, but they did Right, yeah. <laughs> I think I'd be more upset about the CDs, too. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, round number seven. Metalcore or pop punk? Metalcore all the way. I'm a metalcore girly. Like I I don't listen to a lot of pop punk. I mean, there's just like a small handful of bands. And then other than that, like my metalcore knowledge is insane. Like just so many bands. That's pretty much what I grew up on. Round eight. Lager or IPA? IPA. Really? Yes. Um, everybody complains about that really hoppy flavor, but for some reason, like, I love it. So, like, the hoppier the beer, the more I, like, enjoy it. So, I'm going to go IPA every single time. Nice. Round number nine, driving or flying? Mm. Ah, that's tough because I'm going to say driving. And I'm going to say driving because I, like, I am a scenic girly. And whenever the uh, – I mean, like, being on a plane is cool. Being on a plane is fun. You know, you're, like, in the clouds and you kind of see. But I, I really do enjoy – driving through the mountains and actually like seeing stuff. So I'm going to go with driving. All right. And round number 10 with 10 rounds with Mikey O Mohawk or mullet mullet. Yes. I'm going mullet. I, I love a good mullet. Like on a guy or a girl, I've seen both genders rock the mullet really, really well, especially in like the more modern day mullets. I'm a mullet fan all, all the way. Yeah, I was gassing up the other day, right before the vortex. It was really windy. And they had a lady gassing up a few pumps down that had like the Patrick Swayze Roadhouse mullet. And it was just <laughs> laughing in the wind. It was so yeah. beautiful. Like I was That's scared amazing. That. Yeah. <laughs> that's so awesome. Yeah, no, mullet all the way. All right, that's 10 rounds with my DO. Congrats, Avery. You did great. <laughs> oh, and speaking of, since you love vinyl, have you guys ever pressed in your, your music and vinyl? Not yet. So uh, we put out our first EP uh, in 2023. So this year.